Let's discuss more about functions in the Scala language. I have an object and let's have a main function. Main it takes in an array and that doesn't return anything. What we'll do is we'll create an object. Let's say math and let's have uh, an add function that takes in two integers and returns x plus y. Let's create, uh, okay, let me invoke this. Do as you can just say sum math dot add 12 comma 5. And you want to print this, let's say sum pass this. Let's run this and you get uh, sum followed by the value. It's taking some time. All right. So let's run this again. Okay. Now what you'll do is let's create another function called square where I'm going to so x star x. Now as we discussed earlier if you have a function that does, that accepts one argument, you can always ignore the dot and parenthesis. So you can just say square math space square seven. And if you want to print this, you can just say square this. Let's run this. You get some 17 and square 49. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slightly change, rename the methods, the add and square methods. I'm going to call this method plus and I'm going to call this method say star star. All right. Now let's see what you can do now. I can say math dot plus 12 comma 5 and math star star 7 run this you get the same output now that's pretty interesting scala has an extremely rela relaxed attitude what it does is it allows you to create methods like plus minus star star and all those things that makes your language a syntax a bit more cryptic but it's a lot more fun so math star star 7 gives you uh, invokes a function called star star now this is, this is not our operator overloading it's just that you can have methods of this uh, uh, of this pattern. So let's understand some more things here. When I say val i equals one plus two, and I'm going to print i, you get three. Now what actually happens is i is an integer, and the integer class in Scala has a method called plus. So it's actually saying one dot plus of two. Now that's pretty interesting, right? So plus is a method on present in the int class. So you can invoke it by saying one dot plus two. And since we know that the syntax can be relaxed, okay, but if you have um, a method that takes in one argument, what you can do is you can ignore this dot and parenthesis. Now this is something, uh, so this is a, a slightly confusing feature. A lot of people try to, uh, to begin their uh, uh, Scala uh, lessons, try to initially get confused a bit because plus, minus all these operators are actually not operators, but they are functions. So let's, let's move forward with functions. So uh, Scala is a functional language. The, the, the first class citizens are treated as, I mean functions are treated as the first class citizens. What it means is just like how you can assign uh, an integer or a string or a boolean uh, literal to a variable, you can assign a function as a value to a variable. So what does it mean? So let's say I want to I have a variable called print and I want to print something, all right? So I'm going to have a function to do this. So I can say print and uh, let's say I pass a message. So this function doesn't return anything. 
and I'm going to say print line message but I don't want to really uh, call have a separate function to do this okay so what you can do is you can always create a separate uh, uh, a function and assign it to a variable that is you can say uh, I'll call it my print equals it takes in an argument followed by this operator and I'm going to say print line message and we want to invoke this you can just say hello Scala you run this you get hello Scala so my print is a variable that uh, takes in that has a function as a value so you can treat functions as normal uh, literals and, and use them so if you want to create an add function you can just say add equals it takes in two arguments say x and y and I'm going to say x plus y so you can just say add 4 comma 4 so run this you get the output so uh, so, so functions can be treated as normal literals and assigned to variables now that makes it very interesting because now you can pass functions as arguments to other functions so you can create higher order functions uh, a function that takes in other function as an argument and that can return uh, functions as results uh, or call higher order functions so for example if you have a function called compute say it takes in a function let's say a variable called fn you can give any name to it it's going to take in two integers and return an integer right so let's get rid of this I'm going to say fn say 1 comma 2 so what it means is compute is a higher order function that takes an other function as an argument now this function that you pass as an argument accepts two integers and returns an integer so you can just say println if you want to multiply these two numbers you can say compute and you can pass this x star y okay now run this to get the output it's going to take some time to get used to the syntax but you have to get very comfortable with these concepts if you want to write really real functional code using Scala. If you have any questions, you can always feel free to mail me at prabhu at durasoftindia.com. Thank you.